Good evening, everyone. Now, the first question you're going to be asking me is, well, gee, why in the heck am I here and not in my lab? Well, first of all, my lab is still kind of a mess because we're still moving things in. But I am here because I have a secret agent. Now, of course, you know I already have secret agents. So you know already about, about the secret agent known as the rat. Uh, I, you remember I had another secret agent known as the dancing guy. Well, I have another secret agent who just happens to own a subway. And she is one of my regular viewers, and she asked me to come over here because this was such an important subject that she didn't want the poor lighting. And she said, I've got better lighting at my establishment than what you have at your house. And I, okay. So I said, all right, sure, I'll do it over here. She said, this, this, you, you and I are in agreement this is one of the most important subjects to teach. This is the second symbol of calculus. Now the first symbol was, I'll draw this here, the Greek letter delta, which was the triangle. And if you remember, I told you about delta and derivatives, and that was a very long discussion, and you can watch that in the videos. But tonight, we are going to talk about this letter E. The letter E is sigma. Okay, I have been promising this for a long time, and now we're going to discuss it. This is the Greek letter sigma, and it's it's based on something called summation. Okay, This is all based on sequences and series, which I am going to have an in-depth discussion on as soon as this video is over with. Now you say, well, why study this? Okay, do you remember Euclid Book 5? If you don't, go back to Euclid Book 5. There's a whole bunch of proofs. I did 20, uh, what was it, 25, 26 of those proofs, and I have them all up there in a, in a playlist. If you haven't watched those, you need to watch that before you come here. Why? Because we're going to talk about geometric series, okay? And this is all about, about ratios, that kind of thing. All right, now how does sigma work? All right, let's start this way. You have k equals 1, and you have a number 5 up, up here at the top. See how it says k equals 1 and 5 over here? Now what you're going to do is you're going to start with the number 1. You're going to have the number 1, the number 2, the number 3, the number 4, and the number 5. You're going to add 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and when you do, you will get a total of 15. It's basically a saying, all right, I want you to uh, start a number sequence, starting with 1, going all the way up to 5. Okay, And when you do, you're going to add 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and when you do, you get 15. Now, what if they start putting something funky like this over here? Well, here's how that works. You're going to go from 1 to 5, and you're going to replace K with 1 to 5. Now, here's the key. It's 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 3, 3 times 4, and 3 times 5. Now, whatever all those answers are, which in this case happens to be 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15, you add all those numbers together, and you come up with 45. Then you subtract the 2. Why? Because this is not in parentheses. All right? If it's in parentheses, it's done a little differently. But since there's no parentheses here, you're going to have 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. And you'll total all those numbers up, and they become 45. Then you'll subtract your 2, and that becomes 43. What about this one right here? Okay. Again, you got your k equals 1, you got your 5. What you're going to do is you're going to substitute the numbers 1 through 5 for k. Again, you're going to have um, 3. Okay, so 3 times 1 is 3, but this time you're going to subtract the 2. So you'll have 3 minus 2, which is 1. Okay, you'll, you'll put the uh, 2 up here. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. Okay, and you'll put the nine. Uh, you'll put the three up here. Three times three is nine, and minus two is seven. Okay, and then you'll put the four over here, and three times four is twelve, and twelve minus two is ten. And then the same thing you'll do is you'll put the five over here. Five times three is fifteen, and fifteen minus two is thirteen. So one plus four plus seven plus ten plus thirteen is thirty-five, and that's the answer to this. Hopefully you got that. If you didn't, I want you to leave a comment down below and let me know, and I will do my very best to assist you on this. But this is a very important letter to know because it is the second step to calculus. Now you say, well, what's the final step? Well, the final step is another symbol that I have not yet shown you, and it deals with hyperreal numbers. And 
that is the final sequence that gets you straight into the upper levels of calculus, which in turn should get you a very high paying job. There are lots of engineering jobs that need people to understand all this stuff. You have now understood delta, you now understand sigma, and we will talk about hyperreal numbers in a future video. So I want you to stay tuned because it gets more exciting from here.